is going on guys we have a very exciting video and we are going to be working on the OG Pro Charge Coyote Swap Mustang here. If you are new to the channel uh, we have a lot of different Mustangs make sure you hit the like button and subscribe but we are working on uh, my car we call it OG because uh, this is the first car I ever bought I sold it when I couldn't afford to basically keep it on the road and then I bought it back eight years later and uh, then we coyote swapped it. So we tried to keep it budget friendly and use the original T45 Trans and an 0304 Cobra clutch. Didn't really work out with the Pro Charger. Uh, if it were to be naturally aspirated, it probably would have worked for a lot longer. So we were starting to get some lockout and starting to get some slip. The slip will actually cause a false knock issue at like 6,700 or 7,000 RPM. So we're ripping everything out. A bonus deal is we also have an independent rear suspension that we're swapping in this car. This car is a street cruiser corner carver. It also does decent in a straight line, but uh, we're gonna be pulling out the solid axle, putting an IRS in this car, which is kind of funny because my actual 04 Cobra Terminator, I took the IRS out of that car and put a solid axle in it. But that car is for drag racing, this car is for everything else. So, I am very excited to try this clutch out. This is the Competition Clutch Twin Disc. Uh, this is the Stage 2 version. This will be a really good test for all the 0304 Cobra guys looking for a clutch uh, and you're getting tired of the current market options. I ran a Mantic before. It's good, very expensive. We're gonna try this thing out. I think we are gonna be doing pretty good with this. It's got some instructions, Loctite, uh, competition clutch has been around for a while. Uh, Vengeance clutch is their domestic brand. Clutch, beautiful, comes with flywheel. This thing's cheap relatively in the world of clutches. Uh, you can pick this up. I think the base one is a thousand bucks. I think this one's like 1200 bucks. I'll have the pricing on the screen, but we're gonna be using that. We also have the very important part, the Tremec T56 Magnum swap. So we're gonna be swapping a T56 Magnum we also have a DSS drive shaft over here. We have the independent rear suspension. We got the 0304 Cobra bell housing. Uh, we are gonna be getting all of this swapped into this car. I am very excited. Brad has already started. He's pulling the shifter. The MGW borrowed from Cameron. Shout out to Cameron. It'll be on its way back to you. No, you can't buy it unless you wanna buy it from Cameron, but I don't think he wants to sell it. Brad. What's up? You excited? I am. You know, some people were saying you were the worst shifter ever, but... I mean, yeah, I am the worst shifter ever in a car that doesn't want to shift. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't want to shift the way it is. I mean, uh, obviously, I can't be that bad if I could grow a 2-valve to a 13-1. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, the, the trans and clutch setup is not ideal for 600-plus wheel horsepower, but that's why we got all these components. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure she's super busy. Sorry, babies. 
ball. Ah, oh, they're good. They're good. That's not bad at all. Woo! Hey, we did it without dropping the train, so. That's true. Even for how jacked up that was. <laughs> Got it out. Yeah, that's how I figured we would have to do it, is get it straight, yeah, straight down. All right, so we just got the trans out. How fun was that, Brad? Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I would say probably a half. <laughs> so with long tube adders and a non-removal bell housing, gonna make it complicated. Uh, these are the ultimate headers, in case you want to take a mental note. Um, yeah, we did it, but. Yeah. Not fun. It's one of the reasons why the T56 is a really good option. Sorry, Brad. If anyone has a T56, I want to hook Brad up with. Because uh, we're I'm, doing... I'm, I'm going to need one. Yeah. We'll try to make it work with the 3650 for now. I'm terrible in transmission, so that's, that's my third one. Yeah. Now you can see why we had to drop the K-member to do the 6R80 swap when the Fox body had these headers on it. Yeah. And I think... My biggest complaint is you can't remove the starter without taking everything off. Yep. That is my biggest complaint about them. Other than that, they're great. They flow well, they sound awesome. Yeah, they got the little point thing. They do. Yeah. They do have the little point thing. But uh, here is the stock 0304 Cobra clutch. At least we assumed. I mean, it could even be a stock GT clutch. We don't even know. But uh, she started slipping around 6,700 or so. I'm interested to see what that disc looks like. I think pretty glazed. Quite possibly. It never really made the smell. It, it, you can tell it was just overpowering it. Now let's see the disc. How's the disc look? Not terrible. Not bad considering. You can see some marks. There it is. A little, a little heat spots, but yeah. it's actually not the worst I've seen. Yeah, it's not like a slip where the clutch got damaged. It's like a slip where we were just overpowering it. That's also not the cleanest. So, but we have a solution for all of that. We do. We also have new flywheel bolts that came with it. Um, it looks like we might have gone scarce on the uh, flywheel bolts when we put together. Uh, I think it was the six from the original. Yeah. And then we sourced two. It happens. We'll fix it. Yep. Don't worry about that. Yep. Got all the parts laid out here. New forward throw up bearing. Uh, the clutch has the new flywheel bolts, pressure plate bolts, which is sick. Got the drive shaft from my boy Steve, Lethal. Uh, if you guys need anything, Steve is now working at Lethal, uh, Steve Gellis. So he helped me out with the drive shaft. Uh, I think they have all sorts of components. Um, I think they're selling competition clutch now too, but I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, these clutches are up and coming and uh, you'll probably see them in a lot of cars here very soon. All right, so I am back from the store. I had to pick up some hardware for the bell housing to trans bolts. Uh, we got the Vengeance Clutch out of the packaging. Looks awesome. I love the matte black finish on I both. It. It's black. Yeah, both the flywheel and the pressure plate. So we're actually disassembling. It comes buttoned up. So we're going to disassemble that so that way we can get the flywheel bolted on. And these are ARP. ARP pressure plate bolts and ARP flywheel bolts come with it too. We did go ahead and pick up a new Ford Racing throw up bearing. We have the original T45 clutch fork there. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I love brand new stuff. So. We're just gonna go ahead and basically flip it over. Uh, it should, I would assume, be labeled as well. Um, probably flywheel side, pressure plate side. And intermediate plate. Actually, this almost looks like it's interchangeable, but 
Looks like there's. Ooh, slight... are these? Are these built in? Yeah, they're built in. Oh, that's so that's cool. That's what Parker was talking about. So, if there's so... any debris and stuff, instead of staying within the clutch, it actually will throw it out, so it keeps the surfaces cleaner. And if there's anything that gets in there, it shoots it out. It also makes it really cool for assembly. So the other uh, clutch that I've used before, you have to put the this part basically on, and you got to put the bolts through, and you got to hold. And the bolts air don't go through until they go through the clutch face. So you got to try and basically finagle MacGyver this thing together. This this is beautiful. Yeah, I really I like really how like this that. is. So you want to. Put let's, it up into the car. Let's get her cleaned up first. Once I'm, I'm clean, jumping. Then, then we'll put her up. Yep. I'll have a link again down to Vengeance Clutch. I'm going to be trying it out on the car. I'll give you guys a uh, honest review of what I think. And you guys know I'm not easy on cars. So uh, we will definitely find out the scoop on uh, this clutch. But so far, it looks awesome. Like I said, I, I've installed twin discs before looks great um we have uh another company's clutch right here you probably know which one it is but uh the design on this is so much better it looks awesome you guys don't even know what this is for but you can probably guess now but we'll keep that a secret look at that yeah these are machined in georgia like built made in usa they they've been doing it for such a long time and i can honestly say from the way that this came to us packaged the way that it's put together just from this assembly this is a great clutch and the price is great too i mean the price, price is, is not bad at all it's, it's really reasonable it's very competitive for everything else that's out there and it comes with flywheel like that's that's awesome it comes with a flywheel that's engineered for it there's only one way these flywheels will go what's that does that look good uh, Ish. yeah yeah i think that might be it using the arp bolts that it came with which this was a pleasant surprise we we didn't even know that it came with these we got our pilot bearing in there freshly installed from last time we had this out <laughs> Not that long ago. Not that long ago, you know. That's how we, how we do things here. Don't forget, kids. Trust the old Loctite. Yep. It can uh, save your engine. Or ruin it if you don't. So I'm going to put Loctite on all eight bolts. Then torque it to, I believe, 85 foot-pounds. Uh, 80 to 85. 80 to 85. All right, she's up. Yes, sir. God, it looks so pretty. That's so pretty. The discs are marked transmission side, as you can see right there. There we go, focused. There we go. And that's actually really cool that we can put this together as one assembly with the install tool. Brad had it all together. I had made him take it apart for the uh, for the camera. Yeah. And if you want to show the whole assembly, and then to the side, uh, up a little bit. Yep, there you go. So intermediate plate goes in between. We can lift this as a whole assembly right up. And then just line it up. And then you can just grab the pressure plate. That's a lot simpler than the other, uh, other clutch I've done. Okay, ready for the pressure plate? Yep, there's our alignment mark. There's dowels. Okay, very nice. We need the bolts. Throw the handy dandy Loctite on. Yep, kit comes with Loctite too. It does. With this, this is probably the best clutch kit I've honestly seen. It comes with all the bolts you need, the flywheel, everything's pre-marked where it goes so it lines up correctly. All the bolts you need so you don't gotta try and find something, source other pieces. It's a great kit so far. 
Now I got to play around with Parker's car when he came out here and that is such a smooth engagement that his car had. Yeah, it drove like stock. So I cannot wait to feel it on this. This car we know puts down power. Unfortunately, we had some, somewhat of a, a, a bad experience in the first outing, having just clutch engagement, not letting the trans go in. But I think all of this work will more than remedy that. Oh yeah, for sure. The viewers can't tell at home. It's quite humid today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And one thing in the, in the instructions, it does state that it wants you to do everything by hand. Don't use any impacts or avoid warranties. Handy dandy torque wrench, set it to 26 foot pounds. There she is. Yeah. Ready for that T56. I hope it goes a lot easier than the T45 came out. Oh, well, it should. I mean, bell housing, we just. It's modular. Yeah, we just stick the bell housing in. It's now a week later. This is how it always happens. It does. Working on a simple uh, project. Uh, we just got a lot of stuff doing going on at Freedom Parts. But uh, got a little bit of lag. Uh, we got another one torn down. Engine out already on its way to Oregon. But we were working on a reverse lockout solenoid. Uh, this thing is what's going to allow uh, the reverse lockout solenoid to function like factory so I can put it in reverse uh, with ease without having to flip a switch. This thing's only a hundred bucks. Uh, it came with the pigtail for the reverse lockout. Obviously this car is not an original 0304 Cobra so uh, it doesn't have this wired in. So, Everything wired. Yep. I believe power, ground, power um, ground. And then two connections to power. reverse lockout. So yellow is VSS and blue is VSS. Yep, so they, they would go on that side of the trans, just tap into the factory harness for these guys, and I think that's pink and green. For reverse lockout. Put them into there, and we'll be good to go. Yep, and I think we're gonna mount this up top yeah, in the firewall. I'm thinking maybe maybe in this area here. Yeah, we were thinking about going underneath or possibly into the car, but the factory trans harness uh, runs this way anyway, so um, it'll essentially put it in line with, with the factory stuff. Yep. Uh, we don't want to overload the engine bay with stuff, but we also want it to be uh, easy to access and also away from heat and uh, any other sort of uh, elements. This does have a fuse inside of it, so if we're having issues, obviously that's gonna be one of the first places we're gonna to wanna to look. Yep. So ease of access is gonna be a huge thing for this as well. Yep, absolutely. Came back and Brad already had the T56 Magnum almost in. My bad. <laughs> So uh, he ran the lockout wires down around, uh, so it's right with the That's factory. These guys here. So we are tying into this line here. That's our reverse. And then the pigtail that is on the back side over here of the T56. Uh, so online, we heard that there is possibility that the trans doesn't clear, or you might need to massage the tunnel or cut off the side, but I've also heard that these magnums have been revised and don't have those issues anymore. So uh, we're just going to kind of put it in here and if we need to clearance anything, 
Um, we also heard that the shifter obviously is a six bolt uh, and those front bolts will hit the body. Um, but I also heard that they will essentially just clearance themselves and will be perfectly fine. And that was coming directly from the pumpkin man himself. Stick shift dude. Jeff Smith. So uh, he is uh, no stranger to these magnums. No. The man has owned more magnums than... Uh, I think he's had more magnums than I've had cars. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. So uh, we got a T56 crossmember. You do need that. Uh, we didn't think that we needed... Ow! There's a wolf there. Don't hit that. Don't hit that. Ow! We don't think we need to clearance the stock clutch fork. We've got a new Ford Racing throw-up bearing. I'm gonna pair that up with the Vengeance clutch. Um, there are uh, McLeod clutches which have different geometry. They require a custom uh, pivot ball, adjustable pivot ball, um, to get that right. But we shouldn't have any issues in our case. I think we're good when we put it up against, at least dimensionally, what we have around here, it seems to be about the same size as a single disc clutch. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that the Vengeance actually machines out the flywheel to fit another disc within, but not really making a much larger package. So it should fit without us doing any extra little weird work to the transmission, the bell housing, notching out the fork, any of that. So hopefully we can just throw it up, slide it in, and we're good to go. So, I think that's the only place we had the clearance, right? So far, I mean, everything else has gone in relatively well. The front two bolts on the shifter, they went up. All they did was they just pushed the real thin sheet metal of the tunnel up. That was the only spot that was really contacting. Everything else has gone in actually really smooth. Yep. Brad got the reverse lockout wired. Oops. It's all wired down here. We'll have to go back up, permanently mount the box, run power ground, and that will be 100%. Now we just need to kind of finagle the rear trans mount, get it to line up, and we'll be good. Okay, so T56 Magnum is in. Vengeance Clutch is in. Cable hooked up. I didn't even adjust the cable from what we had it. All I did was just pull it forward enough for us to throw the cable through and Yeah, so what a lot of people talk about still got a little bit of play so we can tighten it more for one. Yeah, the clearance is what people do on these, they do on the back side, but it doesn't look like we need more throw, right? No, it it actually moved really easily. Yeah, and so. it's, it's sitting up against the face. Like I said, we got a little bit of play that we can do to it. Everything else is in, it's tight. Just gotta zip tie the wires, make sure they don't hit the uh, headers. And once we do everything up top, everything for the trans will be done. Now we got that guy to take out. Yep, so in the next video, we also have a surprise over there. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in the next one. Uh, we got to drop the rear end out. Time for the IRS swap. And then uh, we'll start the break-in process of the Vengeance Clutch. And uh, like I said, if you guys are interested in this clutch, I'll obviously have my feedback on it once we get it, uh, get some miles on it, start racing with it. Well, uh, wasn't I not supposed to race with this? Uh, not, not until you do like a thousand miles first. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to do the break-in period, no. But... Uh, we're gonna try not to drag race this car 
drag race, but roll racing, absolutely. Yeah, and we're going to uh, avoid the track with this one. This, well, this yeah. is going to be a street eater. So before we wrap up the video, I just want to maybe answer some questions for some people. Uh, can we grab the, the uh, drive shaft and see where the drive shaft sits with the solid axle? So, uh, like I said earlier in the vi this video, I picked up the uh, DSS uh, drive shaft from Lethal. This is to go from an 0304 Cobra T56 Magnum to the independent rear suspension. It's one of the reasons why I got this. Um, well, you can go ahead and pull out the tab, insert it in there, and I'm curious to see where lengthwise it ends up with the solid axle. Is it too long? Is it too short? So, I think if the flange was bigger, you could actually bolt it right to that flange. Yeah, so it, it's what a lot of people have issues with. I know uh, Ken Scar, the Yellow Cobra, um, he's been having issues with his. Now, when that rear end goes up, it might push it too far forward because this is an IRS drive shaft, remember. It's got almost two fingers to play, so I would say it would be super close to maxing it out if it doesn't. So I probably wouldn't run something like this. But, but for the IRS, this is direct bolt-in for the IRS. Uh, it's got the Sonax flange, and uh, this has the measurements for the IRS, which works perfectly for us. But since being that we did have a solid axle in here, I wanted to kind of give you guys, you know, just the idea that this will get you in the realm, but getting some proper measurements with the rear end in the position that it's in with, you know, loaded uh, with a drive shaft is going to be the best bet. This um, would be a point where a four post lift would be awesome. Correct. Yeah. Because that would allow the car to have full weight on the suspension and let you measure from there to there correctly. Yep, exactly. Um, but for our application with the 0304 Cobra IRS, we don't have to worry because this We're using the is, setup that's already been done multiple, yeah. multiple times. So. Everybody else did all together. Exactly. I, I couldn't find a solid axle uh, bolt-in drive shaft for the T56 Magnum. So. so anyway, guys, make sure you slap the like button down below if you were interested in picking up any of these parts. Uh, there will be links down in the description. Um, the Magnum, uh, the Vengeance Clutch. We have the info on Freedom Parts website. Uh, give us a call if you have some questions on those. But I think they're going to be a really cool option for Coyote Swaps, 0304 Cobras, 99 to 04 GTs. Uh, and oh yeah, full tilt boogie. Yeah, we got some uh, some of those goodies here too uh, that came in with the uh, IRS parts. I'm um, excited. I'm yeah. super excited for this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's transforming the rest of the drivetrain on this car. Uh, so if you're excited, hit the like button, comment, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.